Knox, director of the Institute of Optics and professor of optics at the University of Rochester. We're looking at a uh, one-dimensional array of LEDs. Each one is, uh, that's a light emitting diode. Each one uh, blinks red, green, and blue. And you see that as it spins up here, it turns into a beautiful pattern. When it's spinning very slowly, your eye doesn't kind of uh, notice what's going on there. Your eye thinks it's just a, a line of LEDs. But when it goes fast enough, your eye converts it magically around that speed right about there. Your eye converts it into a complete two-dimensional picture. So what we're doing with this speaker system is we're listening to the sound of the blinking lights. And if we stop it here, we'll hear it's playing some weird things. Here. series of annoying sounds and now here we'll let it spin up here show you another one here which uh, I'm not sure how well it's going to show on the camera but let's see how it goes. This is the oh, ouch, sound of, uh, of dust in the air. I think you'll be able to see something here. So here's our laser diode and um, over here we're going to mix these two beams together and get interference fringes. Yeah, we're looking at the, the beam coming out of a Michelson interferometer, it's called, uh, because we have two laser beams that are created from splitting a single one in half, and then we recombine them together, and the waves can actually interfere with each other. So you can see that, that there are these black little lines there, and if I move one of the mirrors a little bit, those black lines are getting smaller and smaller. Now they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. You also see that, that if I just touch the metal plate that this is made on here, it moves them a little bit. And that's uh, because the waves are being moved back and forth. Um, it's a very, very sensitive way to, de to detect vibration. Yeah, exactly. Um, as I talk, you'll be able to see it moving. Now here, we're going to put our, our detector here. So we're going to pick up part of that little pattern into our detector. And then we're going to turn the volume up here. And now you'll hear the sound of the vibrations. <laughs> Now this is very, very sensitive. As I bang on the plate, you can hear the sound of the vibrations. And if I turn the volume up too high, you'll hear a feedback, which is... That horrible feedback, it's because the vibration then goes back here and then it's, it vibrates the plate. Now, now if I move one of the optical path lengths, that little squeaky mousy sound is the sound of the sine waves going back and forth as I move one mirror back and forth. Now, 
If I block one beam, all the sound goes away because all the interference goes away. I block the other beam, the same thing happens. All the sound goes away, all the interference goes away. So all that sound is created by really this, this interference of the waves. Extremely sensitive. And the vibration of all the little things. Even my voice, if I talk like this. voice I can drive the interference. Okay, let's go to the next experiment. On the next experiment, we're going to block one beam here now. Now we have the laser beam propagating down here. Now, we now have a laser beam uh, propagating here in space. Oops, be careful where I stand, it's very sensitive. Now as the beam goes through the air, it arrives at the detector over there. If I, if anything, if I put anything in the beam, um, it will interrupt the beam and change the intensity and you'll hear that over there. The one thing we can do is put some dust in the air. So it's uh, Baby powder is a very good kind of dust. You listen here. It's the sound of baby powder in the air. And it turns out that, that there are ma many different things can make interesting sounds like um, this transparent filter here. Some very strange sounds. Also, the the hair on my arm. Oops. We're getting feedback because the amplifier is actually shaking the laser over there. And so, um, any small dust particles that are in the air will be detected. You can actually hear individual dust particles. They sound like little clicks as they go in and out of the beam. They sound like a little like a little squirrely sound. Uh, now, what we were just demonstrating was the interference. 